Hello everyone, it's Kay here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, as some of my um, regular subscribers know, I do beadwork as well as paper crafts and anything else I can get my mucky little mitts on. And October has been the month for me to break open my bead supply and do a little bit of beadwork. Now, there is nothing new here. These are not my designs, but I do sell them, the beaded baubles anyway, on my uh, little shop that I have on Facebook. These today are not really anything more than one-off beaded creations. Um, I don't know that I will be making a whole lot, but my idea is that I will share them on YouTube and then should anyone be interested in buying them it will be a first come first serve I will leave my email below the video and you know then it is entirely up to the individual should they decide they'd like to purchase one of these baubles or anything else that I share with you so we'll start with the standard favorite and that is I don't know how best to show you because of the angle of the camera but if I bring it in that way on my bone folder you'll see that it is a satin style hot pink um, wrapped bauble it's one of the ones the silk ones that I managed to um, utilize this time my friend Marlene gave me a bag of these oh a good while ago now and my plan was to be ever diligent and make a whole load of baubles to present for this time of year but it never ever came off um, but this is a tutorial also that I did when I first started on YouTube and it is just showing how to do this lovely netted weave on the bauble and on this one you'll see if I bring it up close there are these darling little angels there is a silver rondelle at the top and it's not pure silver just silver toned and then a little pink crystal the wings are actually glass the skirt is a flower and it's glass and so are the two little feet which are made up of the seed beads. It is all glass bead. I have to um, reinforce that because there, there is no acrylic here. And so it is quite a weighty little bauble and it is um, totally handcrafted from a pattern. And the pattern is obtainable from GJ Beads, which is, oops, St Earth down in Cornwall. So that's that little lovely. I have made this one before and it has proven to be very popular. But I've not actually used that glorious satin bauble to show off the colour. And I have tried, as you can see, to keep the colours fairly consistent and coordinated so that's that one the next one is this lovely little beauty I, I've also made this one before but not in the green and I have made some amendments to it again it's that lovely netting but it does vary in size so that at the end of the joining and this is a 60 mil uh, bauble you get the same thing on the bottom but with the dangle and in the center here is a lovely four millimeter um, it's it's an opaque green with the little peyote style uh, finish on the bottom these silver Oh, they're not silver they're they're clear glass but they're picking up the green of the bauble and the green above these are super duo and then it's size 11 glass seed beads going up through with the little hanger on it this one is actually fixed to the bauble you wouldn't be able to take it off by virtue of 
the skirt but the top and the bottom are mirrored as I hope you can see apart from the little four by four millimeter bicone that goes around the bottom and then the skirt is made up of these lovely crystal rondelles and again more of the glass beads and oh my word I've forgotten what these are called again hold on a minute let me look at my packet if I can find it here amongst everything here we go these are twisted crystal hmm. twisted crystal what K okay, I don't know I can't remember oh my word what a nut anyway th they are these little glass tubes again which are separated with a seed bead because they are very very sharp and they will bake bugle beads I knew it would come if I kept yabbering <laughs> bugle beads that's what they're called and again the pico following on from the four millimeter bicone there just finishes off the end of the dangle and there are 12 dangles on that one and the little beaded handle just to hang on the branch of your tree or on a stand these don't have to be for Christmas they can just be a lovely feature a decoration in the home so that is that one and then I've got a really really special one to follow that I purchased the pattern for at a um, bead fair and it is the Spellbinder Company not what everyone would consider to be a Christmas themed bauble it is really, really rich in its content. There are metallic beads, this glorious fan shape. There are five of these that come down then to another almost feather imitation drop. There are, goodness, I don't know how many um, levels to this bauble I just know it took me several several days to make again it is in the main glass or metallic beads there are no acrylics or anything here even down to the crystal beads that are floating in these top little sways or in the uh, it reminded me of peacocks actually which is why I purchased the kit and then the um, tiny little blue fire polished glass beads set in the miniature of the dangle here but it is absolutely exquisite that the, the hanger has got this glorious fan on it it is a whole lot of super duo beads size 8 seed beads size 11 seed beads and then the various crystal beads that go to make up this really really special special event i um it it did take me a a, a good few days to make but i think you'll agree that the outcome has been well worth the, the working on it so that is a real real special there won't be another one of these this is a one-off because of the time involved and because you know as as crafters you all know people love your work but if you had to pay ask money for your time it would be beyond what anyone would want to pay really so this is strictly speaking a one-off there will be no more of these for sale is how i'm going to put it i mean if you're a beader and you get hold of the pattern good luck to you um but it really is a very very special design again it's not by me i just follow the pattern and work the beads that's that's what it's about for me but it is really even down to the little loop around the ball, bauble head there. It is all coordinated beautifully. 
so I'll leave that one with you and then finally 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 some of you who follow my little bead shop on Facebook will have seen my decorative um, beaded candles well it's the little tea light holders now I've I've restructured this one a little bit changed oh I've got a thread changed the sizes of the beads because I am not one that likes huge great chunky things so instead of using eight milli millimeter beads on this little hovercraft skirt as I call it I've actually brought it down to six millimeter and it makes it much more delicate to work and from a, a, a looking at it point of view it will come off the candle quite nicely it's three layers size six and oh size six round beads and size eight didn't see that one on the seed beads but again it is all glass so all you need to do is change the candle for another one as you as you use them and then you've always got a lovely table decoration if you like candles and you know they they really are can't get it back on again now very very pretty and ultimately a lovely gift they sit there quite nicely you can push the candle up through the center as you can see but in essence when it's actually sat on your table and you could have several of these on a table it would look really really pretty so I hope you've enjoyed seeing my beadwork these will be constantly on my little shop I think for the time being and I've got a whole array of glorious colours here and any colour that you see there is you know available to be made up if you like the idea of the beaded candles they come in sets of two so it is entirely up to you to call a colour and let me know if they're of interest to you so all of that said I will leave this lovely little picture of prettiness winking and twinking in front of you and as I say I hope that you have enjoyed seeing all of these makes if anyone would like the tutorial for this green um, bauble then do let me know below as well because I would quite happily although it would be over several videos do a tutorial showing you how to make that for your very selves so thank you very much as always for your time thank you for your continued support I hope I haven't offended anybody by advertising myself so unashamedly. I hope not. Um, and I wish you all well and safe. Take care everyone. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye for now.